Okay guys and gals, uh, today we're going to be disassembling a hybrid sub pack of, of uh, 2006 all the way till 2016 Toyota Highlander or 2010 and up, I believe 2016 as well, uh, Lexus RX hybrid series uh, vehicles. Uh, this is some of the equipment you need. I highly recommend safety protection because you're going to be dealing with high voltage and metal flakes. Uh, a clamping device as the cells may be under pressure due to ballooning and stuff. A hammer. A punch that I use to punch the center of the rivets in. A uh, different type of hammer so I don't cause damage to the sides when I uh, separate the side panels. A pair of pliers. A drill bit. 3 16 recommended uh, chisel in case you have to cut the rivets a drill and a knife to cut some of the seals off all right so let's get started okay so here we have the battery sub pack uh, I believe this came off of a Lexus RX 450 H uh, which stands for hybrid uh, it's already been stripped down. The wiring harnesses and the bus bars have already been removed. Uh, temperature sensors and stuff on the bottom side have been removed. Uh, so we will get started here. Um, like I said, always use safety first. Uh, we'll pop off this uh, vent tube off. Keep in mind, some of these have a cap on them, so you need to remember where the vent tubes go. And always remember the direction of the... Uh, battery as well uh, I usually use the label usually on the right side of where all the uh, cables and stuff are so okay first thing first is we're gonna take off this little weather stripping right here so we can access the rivets Okay, um, when it comes to replacing it back, you can literally just use some uh, heavy duty window and door uh, weather stripping about a quarter of an inch uh, in width. All right, the next thing I like to do is to make sure that the center of the rivets are slightly below the top of the head of the rivet to make it easier for the drill bit to grab. So all I do is knock him down a little bit. Some of them will go straight through, which is even better for you. Okay, next. Uh, like I mentioned, you need to make sure you clamp the side uh, of the uh, batteries. Use extreme caution as all your little studs for your battery um, terminals are exposed right now. So don't touch them with the uh, metal clamping device or whatever it is that you're going to be using. All right, next uh, we're gonna remove the rivets of all these little metal strips right here. So you'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, but only on one side if you plan on uh, reusing the housing. Uh, like IES, if you were to just service or repair the uh, sub pack. So we're gonna remove all the ones on one side, on one side. And then we're going to flip it and remove the rivets on the opposite side or on the same side if you like. Um, I like to alternate, you know, from side to side. So, all right, let's get that started. Okay. 
this is where the plier comes in handy this uh the heads of the rivet sometimes get sucked into the drill bit and they get stuck in there Okay, when you get done with one side, after all have been removed, you can go ahead and flip it to the other side. Okay, and then do the same thing. Remove your, uh, your weather stripping. stuff is messy because it's got like tar on it so you'll have to use something like acetone or something to clean it off your fingers okay once you are ready go ahead and uh Remove the other or cut the heads of the other rivets. Remember only on one side if you plan on rebuilding it. Okay. As mentioned before, some of the rivets may require cutting with a chisel. That's why you need ice protection, but it's out. Continuing on after a quick battery change. I forgot to charge it. Here we go Carefully start loosening up the clamps and allow uh, to allow some of the pressure, if any, from the uh, battery modules themselves. So you can start prepping to uh, take it apart. Remember not to uh, touch the uh the studs you hear all that crunchy sound the battery expanding a little bit you hear that okay before i take 
the clamps all the way off, I always uh, try and uh, tap on the sides a little bit to make sure that they're uh, fully separated from the rivet heads in case I have to pry some. Okay, I forgot to mention one additional tool that you might need, small flat tip screwdriver of some sort to uh, lift the uh, metal brackets over if you need to. Some of the rivets might still be in partially protruding. There it goes. Oh, it's a dead. All right, folks. There you have it. Okay. And then, like I said, if you're planning on rebuilding it, make sure you pay attention to the way the cells were facing, i.e. where the vent tools we're at like on this side on this one all right and then from there on it's a matter of just pulling on the cells one at a time all right making sure that you track where they go but in my case i'm just salvaging this module all right so and they just literally come apart like this. They have a little, uh, I don't know, I guess a one directional molded piece on the plastic thing that you really can't mess it up when you start assembling it. As long as your cells are facing in the correct direction as desired. Alright, if you got any questions, comments or concerns, don't hesitate to let me know. Thank you.